Oh, funny. Kind of tastes like screw you. Hey guys, this is my review for The Cloverfield Paradox, a film that was very suddenly released by Netflix. And it's actually pretty interesting that this is a movie that I can talk about, considering I did a video a few weeks back talking about how Cloverfield, the original movie, turned 10 years old a few weeks ago. We knew that there was a third one coming for a little while. It was nicknamed The God Particle. And so when this one was released, I was like, well, that's probably the best you can do for new marketing. Just boom, have a trailer for it at the Super Bowl and say, hey, it's out now. And then that's where everything kind of ends for the good shit. This is another case of a movie that was clearly made to be something else, but then Paramount and JJ are like, hey guys, let's make more money off of it if we put Cloverfield in the title. Because that's exactly what happened with 10 Cloverfield Lane. That movie was shot as something entirely else. They slapped the Cloverfield name onto it. They filmed a different ending. They added a little few things and it was connected to the Cloverfield universe. I like 10 Cloverfield Lane as its own movie. I don't like the last 10 minutes of it because it's so ham-fisted, but I enjoy that movie. This movie fucking sucks. It is bad. It has an incredibly talented cast that is so wasted. There is no connection between any of the characters. They're all morons. That's a trope that's also got a fucking end. Stupid scientists. This is getting ridiculous. This just it seems to be a thing. Ever since Prometheus, everyone is a goddamn idiot when it's anything in science. The movie actually pissed me off within the first five minutes and it made me almost want to leave the room because every single car that you see at the beginning of the movie is a fucking new car. It's a late 2010s car. And why that pisses me off is that all the ads, even the Netflix YouTube trailer they released say, said that this was going to answer the Cloverfield questions. This was going to answer how it started. And right off the bat, I'm like, nope, fuck you, movie. Then I thought, okay, well, let's see because they said something about an alternate reality in the trailer. The film follows a crew that's on the space station that's trying to make a device that can make renewable energy and prevent a world war that's going on the planet. And then they activate it and it jumps to an alternate reality, an alternate universe. And then really weird shit starts to happen and everyone starts to die. The movie has this intriguing premise. It definitely has a cool idea, the idea of alternate realities, alternate universes colliding. It just sucks that everything about it sucks. It honestly is so badly executed. There is a solid list of talent in this film and there is some interesting points that the characters have for maybe like a second or two and then they're wasted. There's this interesting humor that appears every now and again and it works to an extent but again it's just wasted this movie is just a waste and i can't say it's wasted potential either because all there is is just this interesting idea and the fact that cloverfield is slapped onto it and as i said earlier how cloverfield 10 lane was made post into a Cloverfield movie. This is so badly post made into a Cloverfield movie. There's this story going on with the woman, the main character's husband, that is so tacked on. It's like, none of this shit matters. And then you keep on getting these really ham-fisted Cloverfield name drops. And it's not by the crew at all. It's by everyone else and voiceovers and news stuff and all this other shit. And literally, they are saying this just to tie it in. And you could say that there's theories, there's all these sort of ideas and how the universes connect, but it's bullshit. They don't connect at all because this was not made to be a Cloverfield movie. This was gonna be a piece of shit straight to DVD garbage. The only thing that probably is the best part about this movie is the visuals, which are pretty good considering the budget must have not have been that big, and the music by Bear McCree. Bear McCree does like a fantastic score. He has a lot of influences. There's definitely a part in the movie you can hear Hans Zimmer's Interstellar tracks, but otherwise he has a really good score with this movie. It just sucks that the movie sucks. Also, the ending. That fucking ending. The movie ends with basically a giant fuck you to the audience. Honestly, it is such a 
badly ham-fisted connection to the Cloverfield universe that I actually just said, fuck you, movie, and I got up and walked away. I honestly did not like this movie. I liked the visuals and the music and the idea or the concept the movie is attached to, but in terms of a Cloverfield movie, it is by far the worst of the three. The other two are good. This one's just garbage. This has no connection. There's no reason to have any theories to it. The reason why we saw it is because it has Cloverfield in the title, and once again, we were fucking tricked. At least Cloverfield 10 Lane was good. Cloverfield Paradox is a piece of garbage that could have been something interesting if it was made by better people, had no connection to the Cloverfield universe, and didn't waste my time. Anyways, guys, I'm going to give the Cloverfield Paradox a 2 out of 7. I wouldn't watch it, honestly, don't. Maybe watch the first five minutes and then watch the last five minutes and then you'll understand how it's connected to the Cloverfield movies really, really badly. Anyways guys, I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, leave a like down below and if you're interested in more, maybe hit subscribe. Anyways guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time.